true story. All right, so when I was growing up, I grew up in Los Angeles, and I was very lucky because I grew up with a mom who always told me that it didn't matter who I married. They could be green or blue or purple as long as I loved them and they were good to me, that she would support me and love me, and it was okay with her. And so I've always had that belief that, you know, people are just people. And now that I have a daughter, she's five, Morgane, um, I, I believe I'm instilling these same values in her. And there was a day where she was sitting up on the counter and she was talking about our roommate, Mo who is a lesbian and one of our dear friends. And she said, you know, Mo should move out and live with her girlfriend, Stacy, and they should get married and have a baby. And I had to explain to her that they couldn't get married because there's rules in our country that won't let them get married. And so I realized that we live in a country right now that doesn't allow people to choose who they want to marry. Some people can't marry who they love. Um, I also, I got to marry who I love and got married and had a baby and then got divorced. And so I also know the protections that come with being legally married and the protections that help my family transition. And um, her dad and my daughter and me all move into a new way of being a different kind of family. And it's because we had the legal supports and the legal protections and a clear path of how to, to move our family in a different direction so that we can still call each other a family even though we're divorced now. And I believe everyone has that right. And I'm asking you today to sign the Freedom to Marry Pledge. It's right there on the screen to your, well, it'll be your right, my left, uh, because we should all have the right to love who we love.